everybody, Morgan here. I'm super excited to share this video with you today because it's all about the Rieger Tip Profiler. Um, this is a machine that is manufactured and sold by Rieger, which is the reed making giant company, um, which is a great company um, that sells any and all tools that you may need for bassoon and oboe reed making. So today I have their tip profiler and their tip cutter and then their pliers, which I will be using periodically. So let me explain the setup that I have here and what I will be using um, each tool for. So this is the tip cutter. Um, I'm just going in order for, you can, you can kind of see it's closed now. Um, it is not split. So I need to open that up in order to place it on the tip profiler. Um, this is a forming mandrel which I will use, uh, I will flatten the wires because um, if I do not flatten the wires before I tip profile, then it creates a ridge in the cane, which I don't want. I'll go into more detail about that in a second. These are two reamers that I have. This is a, uh, a flute reamer, not actual flute, but these blades are called flutes. And um, it takes a lot out of the tube of the cane. And this is a diamond file reamer, which does a little bit. It takes a little bit of cane out of the tube. So I'll be using those to ream. And then this is just a holding mandrel. These are pliers, which I'll use to flatten down the wires. And then this is just an old toothbrush, which I use to clean out any uh, fibers or shavings from the tip profiler. So let's get into it. I have this reed here, this blank that I've made, and the process of me making blanks. So my own personal way to make blanks is already up on my YouTube channel. You can check it out later if you would like. So I have this blank here and the first thing that I'm going to do is cut the tip. So I'm going to put the reed on here to hold it, move it back, and then I like it to be 28. So you can kind of see 28 there. So I'm going to move it to 28. And I line it up with the collar, then I clamp it down. And voila, the tip is now cut. And you can see through the reed, which is awesome. Unfortunately, it's too thick. And so we need to scrape on the blade, just a little recap. This is the tube and this is the blade of the cane. And in order for the reed to vibrate, this cane here on the blade needs to be a lot thinner because it, there's no way that it can vibrate right now. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ream and I use this mandrel to measure how much I need to ream. So as you can see, it doesn't fit very well on this mandrel and I would like it to go down about two millimeters above this first line. So what I'm going to use is this flute reamer and that takes out a lot of cane so you can already see that it goes down way further on the mandrel that's really close so I'm pretty much done with that one I'm going to use the fine tune mandrel or the diamond file mandrel just to get it down a little bit further Okay, getting closer, just a little bit more. And I like to use this old toothbrush to clean off anything and everything. Basically all of my tools that get gunk built up on them. Let's do it again. Perfect. That's perfect. So from this step, I would put this in to soak, like I have this already here, just so I can show you guys the process. So I'm just gonna set this aside, but that has already been done to this blank. So this blank is now ready to be tip profiled. 
The only thing I need to do to it is flatten the wires. So I'm gonna get rid of all these tools here. I don't need them anymore. Get rid of the excess. Keep this here. And so the reason why I like to flatten the wires is because, like I said before, if I don't flatten the wires um, and I put it on the tip profiler, it takes off so much from the very tip and so little from the very back that it creates a ridge in the, um, in the cane, which is a pain to take out. And so flattening the wires really helps eradicate that problem. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these pliers and really, really, really squish the wires down. Because the, the opening of the tube does not matter right now. So, and I'll, I'll fix that later. So I'm just really, really, really gonna squish them on down. So that's obviously not a playable read, but it will be soon. So before I do that, I'm just going to show you a little bit of the compartments of the tip profiler. So this is where the reed is held, like so. And then this can be moved around. And then this whole part here moves like so. Um, you'll see how it works in a second. This is the template. This is where the actual reed goes. And this line here shows where to line up the tip of the reed. This, you can't really see it. It's just kind of worn in. This is a customizable template that this roller rolls on. So it, it kind of guides this whole mechanism on where to cut in the tip of the reed. And Rieger can customize whatever template you would want. Um, you just have to send in measurements that you like and they do the rest. Now this is the actual profiling part and the blade is uh, adjustable here. So you can adjust the height of the blade or a height of the roller. And this is the blade. So it comes in at a diagonal angle and it comes out here and shaves along this way um, of the tip of the reed. And this is also adjustable. So pretty much all of this is adjustable. Um, you just need to know what works for you. So that's how a tip profile works. Let's see it in action. So again, I have this reed. I'm just gonna give it one more dunk for good measure. And the reason why I soak it is because the cane is much more malleable and flexible and easier to be taken off or shaved off when it's wet as opposed to when it's dry. So I'm going to put it on, line it up, like so. Again, line it up, make sure it's lined up and even. Tighten this so that it's not gonna go anywhere. And now I'm ready to profile. So take it like this, put it all the way back. And these stoppers can be adjusted as well. They're just cork stoppers, so you can um, add or remove them as you wish. And you shave the cane away. I like to take one swipe across You can see all the all the shavings here that come off. It's a lot of cane. So that's that. And I take this old, you know, toothbrush and wipe out the blade because you don't want any shavings getting in the way of what you're working on. So I'll do another swipe. This blade is brand new, like brand stinking new. Um, and I had it for, I had the old blade for kind of an obscenely, embarrassingly long time, um, way too long. Um, and I've had this profiler for a super long time as well. So you can see that it's a little bit rusted, but it's an excellent shape and Rieger really does a great job making all of these machines. Um, so yeah, that's just my plug for Rieger. Um, so I'm going to just keep going until there is absolutely no more cane that can be taken off. Looks like 
that's it. And you can see that there's no ridge. It's a very smooth progression from really thick to really thin. So I'm going to loosen this, take it off. And then this is the part where you have to be really careful because as you're putting it back on, it's such thin cane on the other side that I had just previously done that it can tear very easily if you, if you place it on the wrong way. So I'm just going to really, really be careful with this. When I ease it back on. I'm gonna open it up a little bit. Back it up. Just check to make sure. Let's put it back on, again, very, very carefully. I have to apologize for the sounds of New York. I'm just going to do the same to the other side. So it's so flat here that I'm going to have to reopen it, which is where this forming mandrel comes back into play. I'm going to do that, use these pliers to re-round the tube. And you can set it back up to the way that you want the tip to open. Now, since this blade is so, so sharp, it kind of leaves a leafy um, end. That is not a problem. I made this read a little bit longer so that in order to not have the little flaky ends, I just put it back on the tip profile or on the tip cutter and just cut off all that little extra flake. So now it's exactly the length that I want it, and no more flake. And it's pretty perfect looking to me. So you can see here, actually that's not the read. This is the read that I had before. You can see, let me move the phone. You can see the difference between a untip profiled piece of, well, this is a read untip profiled reed versus a tip profiled reed and you can see it in the profile as well so yeah that is the tip profiler and everything that comes with it and this is a tip profiled reed awesome thanks so much for watching hope you enjoyed bye